Yo, what to do? This your boy Double Up, and I'm back with another banger. But before we start this video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. And what we're going to get into today is that boy T Rail, man, from Back on Fig, man. Hey, man, that boy Young Rich Muller went on the No Jumper podcast, and he basically said that T Rail, he weighed the white flag. I got some shit right now going on. Um, You know, playing with a name. Oh, shit. Right into it. Okay. Awesome kids. Shit. You mm. feel me? I'm going to get straight into it, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real game member of Fruit Town Paru. Like, do shit for clout. My whole thing be, don't make a piece, Trudy Blood. Get on the phone. Have my big homie get on the phone and then squash some shit, blood. Act like it's bull. You know, it's kids involved. I respect that. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that boy, uh, Young Rich Muller, pulled up to a T Rail house and took a picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's wild. They thought I was an out of towner. That's all it was. And pulled up to their crib on extras. Right. Basically, Young Rich Mula, he's saying that. T Rail doing all this podcast stuff and he not keeping it real because he raided the white uh, he waved the white flag and you know called his homie and you know tried to squash everything you know but at the end of the day if somebody pull up to my crib you know what I'm saying especially if I got kids ain't no way with no white flag you know what I mean you just gonna have to handle it how you handle it you know what I'm saying but here we go again we got that boy Adam Twenty Two stirring up most stuff you know what I'm saying because this some stuff that happened months ago. And as soon as he get on the podcast, Adam get to asking him about it. Let's tell the whole story. So you did No Jumper with Stunner Girl a couple months ago. It went good. But obviously our shit doesn't come out immediately. It comes out after the fact. We pre-record. They do it live. Then you go on Back on Fig afterwards. Everything seemed fine during the interview. You fell asleep, I believe, at one point. You were a little loaded. Um, initially, the first, the first situation, blood, I went on the podcast talking about I was asleep. Act like he came in the room, checked me. He ain't said nothing to me, but not near one of them. Told me I'm gonna have to check in for falling to bleep. All type of shit, but I'm like, what? Yeah, I gotta check. <laughs> Who? Blood? What? <laughs> so I'm like, blood and them can't know I'm from out here, blood. Mm. Like, y'all just had to just thought. Y'all heard the up north part about me. Mm. Like, oh, blood just grew up up north. Y'all y'all can't know I'm from out here. Like, my whole family, my blood brother right here. Mm. Look at blood face. We got matching tattoos. Like, extras. Right. So then, after yeah, you homies. heard them talk some sh you decided to just take it to a whole nother level. My phone starts blowing up. It was like the middle of the day on a Sunday. Somebody goes, look look at young Rich Moolah's Instagram. He posted a flick pulling up to t Rail's crib. I was like, oh, my God. This podcast and shit is officially been taken to another level it wasn't really the n t real it was more than big deal right but that's your people that's if you brother. a leader blood you're not gonna let your just like my homies right now they're not gonna talk all the time mm. especially when we know we dealing with other gang members at my house i'm not even gonna put my kids my wife Nobody in risk. And if you a part of my team and you do that, blood, you don't love me. We squashed it. Blood called my big homie. Blood got somebody on the phone. T real, T real. Me and T real spoke on the phone. Blood, I told blood like he tried to. He wanted to squash the shit. Blood wanted to squash the shit. Like he hollering on some grown men, like back and forth. I'm not no pun faking ass. Shit. I'm like we could we could chop it up. Initially, solidified. He called me back with one of my homies from the hood on the phone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My big homie happened to be right there. They know they holler, get de-escalated. Boom, I leave it alone. It's under the P. Once I put it under the P and the P make me leave it alone, I'm leaving it alone. Ain't nobody bigger than the program, blood. You got kids, a podcaster. I'm I'm not even taking blood beerious. Mm -hmm. Like, not on some real shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all and did y'all background check? I'm not. I'm not taking blood beerious. I know what we do. To Were you surprised that he was down to squash it so quickly when you did pull up to his crib, which to a lot of people would be kind of like unforgivable? Pull up to my. <laughs> sh we ain't get. I ain't calling nobody. But you, you, you know that man good at stirring up the pot. You know what I'm saying. But I want to know how y'all guys feel. How y'all feeling today? And how y'all feel about this situation, man? Drop in the comments how you feel about. You know what I'm saying? Adam stirring up the pot once again. You get what I'm saying? And the man 
young rich moolah pulling up the t-rail house you know because that's wild that's that's real wild you know somebody pulling up to your house with your kids that 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 that's unforgivable to me you know what i'm saying but it, i'm not in that situation so i can't speak on another man but you know at the end of the day how do you guys feel about this situation you know because uh, it's been ongoing for months, you know what I'm saying? I thought they squashed it, but then when he get back on the podcast, yeah, I guess he's mad because t Real been on the podcast uh, basically saying, he, you know, he had his thing with him, you know, his little, you know what I mean, and all that type stuff, you know what I'm saying? So how you guys feel about that? Like, tap in, let me know in the comments, you know, but until my next video, I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.